Next, we'll talk about neutrophil extracellular traps, or NETs. NETs provide an additional mechanism of killing microbes that does not involve phagocytosis. They have also been detected in the bloodstream during sepsis. NETs are composed of nuclear components such as DNA and histones and are decorated by proteins from primary granules such as myeloperoxidase and neutrophil elastase, secondary granules such as lactoferrin and pentraxin-3, and tertiary granules. NETs have been shown to trap microorganisms. Arginine amino acids are required for the breakdown of histone polynucleotidal complexes, which is necessary for NETs. By the action of reactive oxygen species production, the neutrophils become rounded with uniformly condensed chromatin. This occurs because of the PAD4-mediated citrullination of histones. The rounded neutrophils then undergo nuclear envelope breakdown, so vesicles containing DNA eventually fuse with the plasma membrane, and the NETs are released to trap the microorganism. This process is also known as beneficial suicide, since the loss of nuclei leads to the death of the cells. Additionally, NETs provide a scaffold for protein and cell binding. Protein binding to NETs further activates the coagulation system, which participates in thrombosis.